This is Sheila, a vibrant young woman from a village in northern India. Sheila is pregnant and in the hope of having a healthy baby, she goes to the newly founded primary health center in her village. The family waits outside, waits and waits, and after a long time, the attendant of the birth comes out and informs them that the baby did not breathe and they could not save it. That's bad news because Sheila is not alone. 7.4 million babies worldwide will not breathe at birth and almost a million of them will die every year. The good news, however, is that 6 million such babies can be saved by basic resuscitation, the equipment for which has been around for almost three decades. But unfortunately, this equipment uses a lot of skill in order to be used effectively. So what the United Nations discovered the same in their study and found that in six countries only 9% facilities had staff capable of resuscitating while 24% of them had the equipment. What makes the resuscitation so difficult? Holding the mask with one hand causes a lot of high and variable leakage. With poor feedback spells disaster for these babies. We are working on neonatal resuscitation solution called NeoBreathe which will be extremely easy to use yet very effective. It builds on a robust evidence base which says that two-handed mask holding can reduce leakage by up to 50% leading to better outcomes. NeoBreathe therefore relies on robust evidence base in order to create a potentially high-impact medical device innovation. 